We move now to the campaign corruption trial of John Edwards. On Monday, Edwards' lawyers will begin their defense. They haven't said whether Edwards or his mistress, Riel Hunter, will take the stand. Anna Werner has more from Greensboro, North Carolina. John Edwards' lawyers tried to get the charges thrown out Friday. Attorney Abby Lowell telling the judge the prosecution's case has holes, and they're asking you to be a pothole filler. But prosecutors argued there's enough evidence for jurors to draw a reasonable inference Edwards knew what he did was against the law. The case centers on what Edwards knew about the nearly $1 million in donations used to hide his pregnant mistress. In August 2008, he told ABC... Uh, I've never asked anybody to pay a dime of money, never been told that any money's been paid. Nothing has been done at my request. But Edwards lied about the affair and the baby he fathered, and jurors watched that video this week. A bad taste was left in the jury's mouths about John Edwards after they saw that video. The defense is going to have to distance the jury from John Edwards' lies and focus the attention on the campaign law violations. The battle now facing Edwards' defense attorneys, how to explain the technicalities of federal election law in the case of a client mired in scandal. One of the problems with this case is there are so many sordid details, the jury can get lost and not see this as a federal election law violation case, but just a case in which everyone is involved in mud. As prosecutors wrapped up their case this week, John Edwards reportedly turned to his lawyer, asking, that's their case? But the judge clearly felt it was enough. On Monday, Edwards' team gets the chance to begin proving it was not. If they can't, Edwards could face 30 years in prison. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Anna Werner, Greensboro, North Carolina. Joining us now is Jean Casares, a correspondent for In Session and Truth on True TV. And she's been closely following the Edwards trial, and great to have you with us, Thank Jean. You. Always uh, great information and feedback on this. So the trial gets started, at least for the defense's point of view, on Monday. What are we going to hear? I think it's going to be a strong case. I think it's going to be a very strong case because not only is the team of defense lawyers very strong, but John Edwards has a reputation for being a tremendous trial attorney, strategist. I think probably some of the strongest pieces of evidence are going to come from former members of the Federal Election Commission. Hmm. These are people that made decisions of what violated federal campaign laws. They're to take the stand for the defense. That's going to be very strong. Edwards' quote in court to his lawyer, this is their case, certainly indicates he's confident. Not so fast. Yeah, you're right. He said that. But, but you should never be that confident. You never know what a jury is going to do. Okay. John Edwards, did he know about the money? I think the, the prosecution established that. He knew about the money. Did he know the money was illegal and still accepted the money and intended to accept the money? We don't have in this trial where he said, you know what, we're violating federal campaign laws, but you know what, let's keep the money coming. We don't have that. That would be too easy. But this is a circumstantial case. How confident would you be if you're John Edwards? I don't think you should ever be confident. You never know what a jury's going to do, ever. Mm -hmm. And that's, the, that's one of the big unknowns here, what the jury's mind and where their mind will be. Also, whether or not Riel Hunter, as we've been told, she would take the stand. She was on both the prosecution and the defense witness list. What might we hear from her on the defense side of things? On the defense, she would say that the money was given as a gift. It was for me to hide me. He didn't want his wife to know. He wanted this to go on because his wife Elizabeth was sick. She had to be kept in the dark. But we learned through the prosecution's case she found out about it and mm -hmm. the money kept coming. And even after he disbanded the presidential election hopes, he wanted to be vice president. He wanted to be attorney general. The money kept coming. More chance John Edwards testifies or Riel Hunter testifies? Oh, John Edwards. I just don't think he will. I don't. I know a lot of people do, but I just think that there's been so much tarnish to him. I think it could get worse if he takes a stand. It's going to be tough for him not to, probably internally for him not to, to hold yeah. himself back from that. And he may. I mean, he's a talker. He's a communicator. So he may. And it's his decision alone. No one can force him to do anything. Gene Casares, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Gene.